Welcome back to Battlefront 2015. I'm playing this on the PS5 right now, though. Yeah, so I'm doing Walker Assault, and the game is... And this is still alive, of course. I did went on to the Death Star DLC, like... Battle Station and all that, but... Still... That one's dead. I'd wish EA had somehow brought back Battle Station into Battlefront 2, but they didn't. They had to just end updating the game back in 2019. I mean, Battlefront 2 by EA is still alive. The multiplayer is alive. Since the game has single player, but still. I could go back doing Star Wars Squadrons again on the PS5. Still. I never actually used the person that much since back when this game was alive. I mean, the game was was great, but without the campaign, of course. I mean, this game never had a multi a single player campaign other than missions like survival and all that. You know, I only wish um, EA would have added some maps and game modes back into Battlefront 2, such as Rogue One Scarab Infiltration, Bespin Sabotage Game Mode, and other stuff like Battle Station, Death Star. Would have been best if they. We added those modes back in the game, but no, they didn't. I mean, take Titanfall 1, for example. Back then, Respawn was about, was gonna start adding single player to the game. They did plan on adding single player to Titanfall 1, but decided to scrap it because Respawn had a small team back then. So they somehow released the game with multiplayer only. The AT AT is defenseless. Now's our chance. That AT AT won't be defenseless. But... Oh, little pond. Cutie pond. The walker is exposed. Focus all firepower on it. Get to the uplink stations now. Crazy. What? Ricky, mm -hmm. Mandy, 
Think of something to do like something good. Yeah. The season pass for this game is free back by the way, but I don't see that not that many people are getting it because I don't know. Because the, the season passes money bot. I mean, back then I did make a let's play of me doing the last gameplay of Battlefront 2015 by playing Skirmish and all that because Battlefront 2 was coming out that day back in November of 2017. I remember I was looking forward to the game because they had a campaign that was coming out. And yeah. When the game came out, I started playing the campaign first because I wanted to experience the story. I could do it again on the PS5 since it's been a long time, but still. You know what I love much about Scarif? Rogue One Scarif in this game? Before the movie came out? It was us flying the U-Wing into the shield gate. And then getting the Death Star plans out of there. 
you know, the ones that was used to find out the Death Star's weakness and a new hope. Just in the nick of time. Twenty-five deaths, no kills, just assists and all that. Yeah, I know. It's been a long time since I played this game. I mean, I did enjoy it on the PS4 back when I got this game on the bundle. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Spawn Campa. No, he's protecting it.
Skywalker has been spotted near your position. Scout transport ready to assist. The uplink station has been activated by the Rebels. We must deactivate it in order to stop a Y-Wing attack. All Y-Wings have been destroyed. Enemy uplinks on radar. Advance to mark points. Be ready for hostiles. Y-Wing attack. We must deactivate that uplink station to stop their bombers. Orson Krennic is here to lead the attack. Rebels ahead. Luke Skywalker has been spotted in your position. The Emperor wants Skywalker defeated. Activated the uplink station. We must shut it down.
control of that uplink. Without it, the Rebels won't be able to provide air support in time.
Nothing. Three joined. Oh, one left. Okay, so Walker Assault is alive. Seriously, another one joined? Yes. So the, the DLCs are dead. <laughs> Occasionally. Star Wars Battlefront. Thank you. 